All right, Bitcoin is rising again, over $21,000 right now. And what will happen in the next couple of days, we will see. But today we are analyzing the crypto market and news. Samsung Asset Management has unveiled its first crypto asset ETF in Hong Kong. The fund enables access for both retail and institutional investors for the world's largest cryptocurrency and it invests in Bitcoin futures contracts and micro Bitcoin futures contract traded on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. Next piece of news, Polkadot. Polkadot gained the first rank on this list of cryptocurrencies with the highest Nakamoto coefficient metric. The Nakamoto coefficient shows the number of validators nodes required to successfully slow down or prevent any particular blockchain from operating as intended. And the higher the Nakamoto coefficient in relation to the total number of validators, the less likely a decentralized blockchain is to be disrupted by a collusion. Apart from DOT, Avalanche and Solana made it the top on the list. Polkadot, it seems to be really low according to, to BTC, uh, but in my opinion, if the BTC will be rising, the Polkadot might be going even lower to BTC and maybe we will be waiting for some, uh, for the point of uh, 25 or even $30,000 for BTC and then going to Polkadot. And next piece of news, California cannabis producer adopts blockchain to track its weed. Nice. <laughs> next piece of news, Ethereum, the Shanghai upgrade, which will enable the withdrawal of staked if will go live in March 2023. We know it, but the if investors are wary of the fact that the Shanghai upgrade could intensify selling pressure in the market. Data analytics firm Bitwise challenged the claim and stated the mass sales will be impossible as the amount of staked if that could be unstaked will be limited at any point of time. And the Bitwise predictions for 2023 the fourth prediction is that the amount of staked if will rise after the Shanghai upgrade, which finally allows staked if withdraws by 50% or more. In my opinion, Shanghai upgrade might push the if price even higher to BTC. Tell me in the comments what is your opinion to this news, to this info. Of course, remember, nothing here is a financial advice. Next prediction from Bitwise, the amount of staked if I, I told it. Next prediction is that the Coinbase market capitalization will increase 100% from the year and 2022 levels. And this is coin on Nasdaq. So Coinbase token on Nasdaq and in um, my opinion, it might uh, rise if the Bitcoin price will start rising because the coin uh, started its, uh, its history from the top of tops from $64,000 price of BTC. Next prediction is uh, that Coinbase uh, market capitalization will increase, yes. And the next prediction is that USDC will surpass USDT Tether as the world's largest stablecoin. Right now, as you can see, the market cap of both are right here and the market cap of USDC is much lower than USDT. And yes, in, if the market cap of USDC will grow, the probably the market cap also of USDT will go lower and they will exchange, they will change their market cap. Tell me in the comments what is your opinion on this. And the last prediction, Uniswap will trade more volume than Coinbase in Q3. 
for 2023. Right now, Uniswap volume is around 900 million dollars daily volume and the Coinbase volume is 1 billion and 900 dollars. So twice as Uniswap right now. And the prediction is that Uniswap will overtake the Coinbase in Q4 2023. What is your opinion on this? Tell me in the comments as usual. And this week we will have uh, this event's retail sales tomorrow in United States and after that initial jobless claims and building permits on January 19. So be prepared on these events. Bitcoin probably will be reacting as a DXY also. In long term it seems that we are at the lowest levels of BTC price. What is your opinion on this? And the support zones right now are at $21,000 and resistance at $21,500. Also, if you want me to analyze some altcoins, here is MakerDAO. In my opinion, it, it still has some, uh, some some space to go even lower to BTC if Bitcoin will start rising. And if Bitcoin will start rising, the market cap and the, the price of MakerDAO to BTC may fall maybe even to these levels. From these levels I will be trying to get this token to BTC, to gain to BTC. Also, it seems that the Kronos token might also have some space to go even lower if Bitcoin will start rising and then the token CRO will go even lower to BTC then in my opinion would be nice at this level some at these levels would be nice time to accumulate this token of course if the exchange will be fine next token is Dogecoin Dogecoin is a mem coin dogecoin as you can see uh, to btc as going up and going down and the past uh, time the dogecoin went down and went up a little bit to btc in my opinion there is some space to go even lower to btc i will be waiting for these levels to accumulate dogecoin and maybe maybe buy it for for long to gain even bigger uh, bigger profits than BTC investment. All right, and for today that's all guys. Thank you as usual and see ya tomorrow. Bye bye.